Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then welcome. My name's Christina and on my channel we talk all things beauty from my own experiences. So if you're looking for the best and most honest how-tos and reviews from a consumer's perspective, then make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave any comments that you have for me down below. Now this video is sponsored and in partnership by Yes Style. I'm super excited that I have these products to try out. I love Asian skincare and it's something that I haven't super like delved into until now because it just seems a little overwhelming and there's just so much information out there and it's really difficult to figure out what's going to work for you. So I hope that this video kind of helps you out if you are in that same boat. To start off, my skin type, so I have combination skin. It's normal to oily. I typically get oily throughout the day, especially if I'm wearing makeup, but on like a regular basis, I would say it's like veering a little towards normal, you know? So that's kind of where I sit. I do struggle with hyperpigmentation. I do focus a lot on hydration and anti-aging because I am 29. So I'm getting to the point where I want to make sure that I'm doing preventative measures just to keep my skin at its best. But I'll make sure to leave some chapters for you guys and timestamps so you can kind of skip around if there's specific products that you want to hear more about. But we are going to start off with accessories and tools. The first tool that I have to share with you guys is this facial foaming cleanser tool. This has honestly been a game changer for my skincare routine. So if you open it up, it's just this little contraption. So it's a little jar and then it has this little panel with a bunch of different holes there, which allows the cleanser to foam up and become bubbly and foamy so what you do is you add a little bit of water to the bottom of this and then I pump a pump of cleanser in to the little panel here and then I put it together and then I just pump it I don't know how many times but until I feel like it's nice and foamy and thick the reason that foam cleansers are really beneficial for people that have normal to oily skin types is because foam is able to break down into smaller particles so it's able to go deeper into the skin and it really pulls out any dirt sebum oils that your skin is holding on to now i saw somewhere on tiktok someone was talking about how their dermatologist suggested that they do a two-step cleanse with their foaming cleanser and what you do is you do two cleanses with the same foamy cleanser and the first cleanse you use a brush this is just an it cosmetics brush and it's very small and dense here and you would go around your t-zone in circular motions just very small circular motions for about 30 seconds and i also like to include around my nose because i tend to get very oily there because that's where my pores are the largest and then once you finish the 30 seconds you go around the perimeter of your face and just keep doing the circular motions and then you wash off that cleansing layer and then after you do that you take some foamed cleanser in the palm of your hands and then you literally press it into the t-zone the exact same places that you did the circular motions on you just press it into your t-zone for another probably 30 seconds and then after that you can do the rest of your face and then wash that off since i've been been doing this routine I feel like my skin has looked 10 times better I feel like I haven't had as much like breakouts since I started this about I want to say like two months ago I do it every morning and every night I feel like the blackheads on my nose are definitely diminishing it could be a mixture of that cleansing routine as well as products I'm sure it is I feel like my pores and my blackheads are really looking minimized I feel like that I don't don't produce as much oil because I'm able to really get in there with the combination of the foam as well as that skin washing routine the next thing I have I have also been using while washing my face and it is this little scrunchy bunny headband and the reason why this one is so exciting is because it has the wires inside so it holds the bunny ear shapes. Before this, I've had headbands with little bows and it's just a bow. It doesn't have any sort of structure to it, but this is really exciting because I'm sure as you guys have seen on TikTok, not only is this really cute, but you can also flip it over so that the ears are at the nape of your neck and then you just fold it over your hair and it holds your hair back. That is the most genius, most clever, and cutest thing I've ever seen. So I knew that I had to purchase this and I'm so happy <laughs> that I have this. I use it every single day. <laughs> Another must-have tool or product 
I have here is a little hair drying towel. I'm sure you guys are very familiar with hair drying turbans. It's the same thing. It has the button on one side and then it has a little elastic on the other side and you just wrap your hair into it after you wash it and the towel absorbs all of that excess water. I like this because of the waffle texture and it's sort of like a microfiber as well. So it's very gentle on the hair. And I find that microfiber turbans that have the waffle print on it absorb water better. Like I have two and this is my second one. And I really, really enjoy how much water it takes out of my hair and preps it for styling. It's also very long as you can see, so it's perfect for my long hair. These are the Pyongkang Yule cotton pads. They're one third cotton pad. This is what they look like. They're very, very thin, not like any other cotton pad I've ever used, but I really like this because I feel like it absorbs just enough product without wasting it. I don't feel like it's trapped within the cotton pad and I'm able to just sweep this all over the face. And if I wanted to, I can take any sort of serum and just do a couple of these all over my face and use it essentially as a sheet mask. So these are very nice, really nice for any sort of serums or if you use like eye makeup remover these are a must so something very boring but absolutely necessary for me are these shiseido refills for the eyelash curler i have this one right now from shiseido which is like their limited edition gold one and it has like the red pad right there the shiseido curler is by far the best one that i've ever used the shu uemura and the shiseido ones are the two curlers that work the best on my lashes now this is a really fun one these i bought two of these this is from beauty artisan if you're familiar with bb cushions they essentially are a sponge that has the bb cream in it it's very compact you take your little puff puff it in there and then you apply your bb cream like that or your foundation oops but this i was really excited to get because it's an empty case so there's no product in here so you can fill it with whatever bb cream foundation tinted moisturizer you want and i'm very excited about that because i feel like it'll make traveling a breeze and i like um the idea of like having my most favorite foundations just accessible like this especially when i'm not home and i can't get ready like at my vanity you know so this is exciting i have yet to fill either of them because honestly commitment issues i'm scared that i'm going to want a different product in here but i need to just go ahead and do it <laughs> but yes i'm excited for this it also has a mirror on there by the way and i like that it has this little flap to keep the cushion away from the sponge. I got two of those, so I have two options on that. I bought some facial razors. These are great to trim up your eyebrows, under the eyebrows, your upper lip. And honestly, it's just to shave like the peach fuzz off of your face. I do this from time to time. I honestly don't do it super, super often. Shaving the fuzz off your face is very different from dermaplaning in my opinion because dermaplaning actually takes off the most shallow layer of your skin so it helps really exfoliate while something like this is gentle enough for you to just remove the peach fuzz but of course be super careful when you're doing it. I do it every so often when I'm feeling like my makeup isn't sitting the same way that I want it to or my peach fuzz is just getting in the way it really helps your skin look softer and everything just sits way better when your face is shaved <laughs> accessories and tools are done so we're moving on to makeup and all of these products i'm actually so excited about because this is my first time using any of these brands and so far I've been really loving them. So let's start off with what's on my lips today. I have a combination of these two products right here. This is the Peri Para Ink Air Velvet Number no. 2 in the shade Selfie Orange Brown. So this one I have on the center of my lips and I really like this because it gives you that stained look. Um, if you're familiar with the soft stained look that typically starts like in the center of your lips and kind of just blurs out towards the outer corners, this gives you that perfect look, but you can also wear a little bit more full coverage like I have it today. It is such a soft formulation. It's definitely, definitely an orange 
whenever you like swipe it on. So I actually like to use a darker dark brown lip liner or today I used this which is the 3CE Style Nanda Velvet Lip Tint in the shade Taupe. So that's the shade right there. It's definitely a darker reddish tone, but it also has some brown in it. So I think that's kind of why it's a taupe because this also is meant to be worn like blurred out. So when you do blur it out, it definitely does give you a little bit more of that brown taupey shade right there. Today, what I did was I dabbed a little bit on into the corners and like lined my lips, and then I used my finger to kind of blur it out to give a little bit of definition and also to tone down some of that orange that is in that peri para uh, velvet tint. So I've been really enjoying these two and I just I feel like the formulation is just so perfect for that really smooth blurred out look. Next, I have this A2 Dr. Mascara Fixer. This is the Volume Up Curl Fix Coating Fix. That's a lot, but that's everything that it says on here. And essentially what this is, if you're thinking in Western terms, this is like a mascara primer. So it comes out clear. I mean, well, kind of clear. It's a little bit milky, but when you actually apply it to the lashes, it is clear. And this helps keep your curl all day long and i have used different sorts of primers like mascara primers in the past and none of them ever work for me you guys know i always have to use a waterproof mascara and even then just a waterproof mascara alone my lashes will still droop so i always have to use a base coat of maybelline full and soft waterproof and now also i can use this instead and i find that this is super lightweight it gives me a lot of hold and it doesn't smudge because it's clear, you know, and it lasts for hours. I wore this on Thanksgiving as well as at our Friendsgiving and we were there for a good, I want to say seven to eight hours and my lashes stayed up all night. Beautiful after laughing, after drinking, you know, being outside in the humidity. But I will say you do have to use an eye makeup remover to remove it because it is very stubborn. I find that cleansing oils and balms don't do the trick by themselves. So you're definitely going to want to use a separate eye makeup remover so it's more gentle on the eyes. Another Peri Para product is the Sugar Twinkle Liquid Glitter in number one and this one is literally just a bunch of chunky glitter i forget what the term is but some women will use this right under the folds of their eyelids at the bottom right there to just kind of emphasize that and give it a little bit of sparkle this is the perfect product i'm pretty sure that it was made for that but also i have used this in my inner corners i've used it as kind of a glitter liner on above my crease. I love how it's multi glitter, like there's different sizes and different shapes of glitter there. And once it dries down, it dries down. It's like there for the rest of the day. I think it's a beautiful glitter topper, but it's also really pretty alone. I bought two eyeshadow palettes and the first one is this Cleo Pro eye palette and this is number four Street Brick. This one to me is a mauvey brown taupey eyeshadow palette. I think that it's beautiful if you love your neutrals but it also gives you those glitter pops of color there and there's also different formulations. You have some like opaque shimmers here you have your mattes and then you have like your glitter topper which is this one right here and then you have more of like the sheer glitters as well i find that you can do a variety of different makeup looks whether you want it to be more neutral and brown or if you want something a little bit more mauvey or berry you can achieve that with this palette which i always think is really great when you have like a multi-functional eyeshadow palette. I find that these shadows blend really well. I think that they are super pigmented. Up until now, I haven't been wearing a lot of powdered eyeshadow, especially within palettes. So it says a lot whenever I say that I've been using this one as well as the next one I'm going to be talking about. I've been using them consistently and I've really been enjoying the eyeshadow looks that I've been creating. The next eyeshadow palette is the Romand Better Than Palette number one Pompous Garden. Now upon first 
first glance, these look very similar. However, the more I've been using them, the more of a difference I find. So the Street Brick one is definitely darker tones. It can give you a richer, more bold eyeshadow look, I guess, while this one can give you those soft, airy, super subtle eyeshadow looks. Like that Clio eyeshadow palette, this one has a mixture of different finishes. You have your mattes up top, and then you have your shimmers and your glitter toppers right here on the second row. I do find that these two shades right here are fairly light. Like I don't really ever touch this light pink one, but every other one I've used in a makeup look, I find that they're super soft and buttery. I really like the different dimensions and finishes I can get out of these different eyeshadows. Now that I know I really like this formula, I may be picking up more of the different palettes. That was all the makeup that I picked up, so now we are going to delve into the skincare. There's a ton of skincare. I'm going to try to go through this pretty quickly, and anything, like I said, that I have used and I have like thoughts about, I will share those, but other than that, I'll just give you like the basic info. First product is this cleansing oil. This is a Softy Mo speedy cleansing oil. I love using cleansing oils and cleansing balms, especially as my first cleanse because whenever I wear makeup or I have a lot of sunscreen on, I find that this removes all of that before going in with my cleansing routine with the foaming tool and my regular cleanser. I think that a cleansing oil or balm is necessary because it allows you to remove all the impurities like the makeup and the sunscreen before actually going in and cleaning the skin. So this is like removal and this is cleaning. You know what I mean? You only need about one pump for the entire face. Maybe I'll do a pump and a half if I feel like I have a lot of makeup or a lot of sunscreen packed onto my face, but one pump is totally fine. This is a super lightweight, very runny type of oil. I find it doesn't leave any sort of residue. If you don't like the feeling of an oil and like rubbing that around your skin, I understand that it can kind of feel like it's clogging your pores. This one would be a good option because it feels super lightweight. It rinses off really nice. Like it becomes a little bit emollient and milky whenever you add water to it and you're able to remove it really well. Just be careful not to get this into your eyes. It does kind of like rub into your contacts if you get it into your eyes, but I have been really good about not doing that. So I haven't had any issues recently, but when I first used it, I did kind of have like a film around my eyes. Another cleansing product, this is a cleansing balm. This is the Hymish All Clean Balm. So you can pop it open right here and then you have your little spatula, but you can also twist the cap off and the spatula is right there and you can remove it. And here is the balm. I've yet to use this because I want to use the cleansing oil before diving into this and having too many cleansing products open. But I have only heard really great things about this particular cleansing balm. My favorite one that I've used before is definitely the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm because that one feels very lightweight doesn't leave a film, takes off the makeup super quickly and very easily. Another product I have yet to use, but I'm excited to get into is the Sun By Me AHA BHA PHA 30 Day Miracle Toner. Essentially, this is an exfoliating toner because it does have that AHA BHA PHA to allow cell turnover. It removes all the dead skin. It also has that hydration in it, so it doesn't super dry out the skin, you know, when you're using it. It also says on YesStyle's website that this is acneic skin friendly and it's sensitive skin approved. I feel like this would be a really great toner for someone that kind of wants to play around with chemical exfoliants, but they're afraid because they do have very reactive skin types. This might be a good one for you to try out. I have a refill pack of the Hadalabo Hyaluronic Acid Lotion. Now I do have a new bottle of this in my bathroom. However, I saw that maybe I bought the wrong one because this one is clear you can see right there it's clear and the one that i have in my bathroom is a milky like white consistency so i don't know if this is the same one i thought it would be i looked at the reviews but that could have just been my bad. I'm sure that this is still really good. I really enjoy the Hadalabo lotion. Essentially, in if you're thinking Western terms, lotion is kind of synonymous to um, 
toner. I wanted to have a backup of this because I really like the Hada Labo lotion that I currently have. This is the Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. And this is one of those products that you hear about a lot if you kind of like search into K-Beauty and J-Beauty. This is something I feel like everyone has tried if you're into Asian skincare. This is an intensive soothing care cream. It has Centella Asiatica extract, so it helps to soothe and soften the skin. It helps with any irritation that you might be having. Um, it helps to repair the skincare barrier, and you essentially just wear this as a sleeping mask overnight. I also have heard of people using this in replacement of a moisturizer at night or during the day, just depending on your skin type. I thought this would be really nice to use whenever I feel like my skin needs a refresh or if I feel like I need to do a calming sort of skincare routine because I've overworked my skincare barrier. So I'm excited to try this out whenever I need it and it's also a really pretty blue color. Two products that I have that are essentially the same thing just in different form are these two sunscreens. This is the Isntree Hyaluronic Acid Watery Sun Gel and this is the sun stick so i believe they're the same formulation other than the fact that this is going to be a solid so i'm sure the formulation is just a little bit different but essentially the ingredients are going to be the same this is the sunscreen stick i like the shape of it it's very on brand for them i would say um but i have been using this isn't tree water gel since august i think and this is a backup because I have an opened one that I've been using uh, for a couple months now. And I love this sunscreen. This is my favorite face sunscreen right now, currently. This is an SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 UVA UVB protection. So it's going to protect you from all all of the uv rays the texture of this is everything that i like in a sunscreen i find that it is a very slippy very gel like texture so i find that it spreads really evenly and nicely on the skin it comes out white but it does not leave a white cast and it leaves me very glowy and dewy i'm just obsessed with the way that this looks the way that it feels it just absorbs into the skin very very nicely but it also still leaves you with skin that looks very healthy and fresh. And I picked up the sunscreen stick because it's always nice to have a sunscreen stick with you on the go. I love to use these types of products whenever I'm driving. I'll like put it on the back of my hands and on my arms, down my neck, or if I need to reapply throughout the day, it's really great to just have this on hand. I have the Laneige Sika Sleep Mask. I've yet to use this one, but like it says, it is a sleep mask. It's supposed to be great to use overnight for calming the skincare barrier. It is supposed to be very gentle on the skin and it brightens, moisturizes, and fights signs of aging. I love Laneige as a brand. All the products that I've used from them so far has been really nice. They're very gentle, so I think it's a nice little segue into Asian skincare because you're bound to find something that you really like from Laneige. Next product I have right here, which is something that I actually tried out for the first time today, so I can kind of talk a little bit about it. So this has 100% fermented Korean black rice, which is a, supposed to help with elasticity within the skin. It also has antioxidants in it, so it's supposed to be super beneficial for helping your skin um, produce more bright, even, firm skin. I would say that this is more like a lotion moisturizer versus a gel moisturizer but i like this because it doesn't feel thick and heavy on the skin like there is a layer of moisturizer on i found that this absorbed into the skin really nicely and it kind of gave me a little bit of a mattifying look not like super matte where it sucked out all of the hydration within my skin but it didn't add any extra dew to the skin so if you are someone that likes more of that matte finish or if you like a moisturizer that absorbs into the skin and doesn't show like through the skin this would be a really good option for you and i just love this packaging as well i feel like it's nice and sleek it might be kind of difficult to figure out how to store this thing other than that i think it's really a fun little design something i have yet to take out of the packaging which is kind of ironic because it is one of the first asian skincare products that i had ever heard about and i've wanted for years 
but just now picked up is this Biore Aqua Watery Essence, which is a sunscreen. This also has an SPF 50 plus with PA plus 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 plus. And this is supposed to be a very thin, lightweight moisturizer that also has hyaluronic acid, which benefits moisture within the skin. It gives you that SPF 50 um, protection. I'm really excited that I finally have this. I feel like I've I've joined the community of Asian skincare um, having this because everyone has always talked about this. And whether you do like this sunscreen or you don't like the sunscreen, majority of the people that are skincare enthusiasts have tried this sunscreen. So I'm excited to try it for myself. Next up, another product that I've yet to use, but look how beautiful she is. Look at that purple. This is the Neogen Real Bakuchoil Firming Serum. This is a plant-based um, phytoretinol, which it says 10% phytoretinol firming booster. It helps create firm, smooth, and radiant skin. So because it's plant-based, it's supposed to help be more gentle on the skin. So if your skin is sensitive to retinols or if you're just starting out with retinols or if you are very seasoned to retinols and are just looking for an alternative, more gentle one to just throw into your skincare routine, I've heard that the Neogen one is a very good great product and i'm excited to try it out it also contains peptides and proteins and vitamin c i picked up this clavu lip sleeping pack it is essentially like a sleeping mask sort of like the Laneige one. However, this formulation is very different. I find this is more lightweight. It's more of a jelly texture. It doesn't last me throughout the entire night. However, I really like using this to prep my lips for whenever I'm doing my makeup. So I'll do my skincare routine, put a good amount of this on my lips. While I'm doing my makeup, it'll just sit and absorb into the lips and then I can easily just wipe it off and apply my lip product. Now we're gonna be getting into three brands that I have a couple of products from so I decided to just group them together they are CauseRx, I'm From, and Beauty of Joseon. So we're gonna start off with the I'm From products here. One of my most favorite, oh my gosh it comes with a little wooden spatula. How cute is this? Okay this is the I'm From Honey Mask. Mine looks crazy. Tell me this is normal. Tell me I just need to shake this up or stir it up. I'm not entirely sure. I know that after a while, the jar that I had um, did separate a little bit, but that kind of freaked me out for a second. <laughs> okay, it's mixing up without me actually stirring. So <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's mainly like honey and preservative and stuff like that. So I think we're good. It smells really nice. It's a subtle, subtle honey scent it's a very thick mask so once you spread it on the skin it doesn't like drip down the face like you would maybe assume honey would it, it stays put so it's a very thick feels really creamy almost like um like a honey butter if you've ever had a honey butter it's very reminiscent to that but even though this is a honey product and it feels thick on the skin, it doesn't clog my pores. It makes my skin look so much softer. It makes it a little bit more bright. And again, it helps calm down any like acne or inflammations or anything like that that I've ever experienced. This is by far one of my favorite products from this haul. Another product I've yet to use because I have other toners that I want to use up first. This is the I'm From Rice Toner, which I have heard time and time again is a beautiful, effective toner. And it has a very thin water-like consistency here. And if you don't know, rice within skincare is really nice because it helps with one, anti-aging, because it helps with elasticity and it, firms and also brightens the skin. Here is another honey product. This is the I'm From Honey Serum. And this one has 30% Honey Glow Queen. It has black bee, propolis, turmeric, bee pollen, bee venom, cinnamon, and royal jelly. So this helps with anti-aging. It helps brighten and soften dull and lackluster skin. If I use this, I will only use this serum and like I'll do a toner, um, an essence, 
this serum and then a moisturizer because I, I feel like it's too heavy to layer with other products. I'm still kind of playing around with this. I felt like this kind of clogged my pores just a little bit. So I think that I have to find a way to implement this within my skincare routine to help it work for me. I think that this actually might work as like an overnight sleeping mask. So I'm gonna try that next. But I do notice that this helps my skin look super bright. Moving on to CosRx or CosRx, which is one of my absolute favorite skincare brands. And we're gonna start off with these. This is, I'm gonna keep saying favorite whenever I'm talking about CosRx. So this is the Master Patch Intensive Pimple Patches. The intensive ones are the only ones that I use because they're the only ones that I find are effective for my skin. These do have salicylic acid and tea tree within them. So I find that not only do they suck out all of the gunk in my whiteheads, but they also kind of push those ingredients into the skin. So it helps to heal that that spot and it helps to just clarify it and get rid of it. I still have an open box in my bathroom so this is just a refill pack. I have my CosRx Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. I have an entire video covering this. I might do another one just like an updated version with more information. If you guys are interested in seeing that then let me know. This is again a backup because I have an opened one that I'm going through right now in my bathroom. This is just the best essence I've ever used in my life. I find that it really helps to prep my skin for other products like other serums and active ingredients and stuff it kind of creates a layer of hydration so my skin is able to absorb the good products even better it's transformed my skin i've been using this for three years almost every single day and i recommend it to everybody it is the perfect product if you have dehydrated skin or if you're looking for something to just like give your skin a little bit of an extra boost of hydration. This is the CauseRx Ultimate Nourishing Rice Overnight Spa Mask. So it's an overnight sleeping mask. It has a very light gel texture to it. Let me squeeze a little bit out. So it does come out white, but it rubs out completely clear. And I like this because unlike some sleeping masks, this one feels very, very lightweight. And I like that my skin is able to absorb a little bit, but I also feel like it's on top of my skin protecting it at the same time. I don't think it has any sort of scent to it. So I like this, it hasn't irritated my skin so far. I find that sleeping masks in the past have been difficult for me because I either put too much or it kind of like clogs my pores to where I have tiny little whiteheads, you know? But this has been doing really well and I'm really excited to continue to use this one. This is the Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. It goes hand in hand with that essence as well as the all-in-one cream, which is the moisturizer within the line. So you can kind of see here, it's a little bit slimy the same way that like the other mucin snail mucin products are this feels so nice under the eyes it gives a slight slight cooling sensation and i feel like my concealer like my makeup goes on really nicely after i use this product and it's not clogging i don't feel like it's super heavy i can use this morning and night but recently i've been using it every morning and i think that it just layers really nicely and it gives me that extra boost of hydration to wrap up the cause rx products this is the vitamin c23 with super vitamin e and hyaluronic acid so this is 23 percent pure vitamin c it's ascorbic acid which is the most powerful type of vitamin c and then like i said it does have that vitamin e which helps to nourish and brighten the skin as you use it it also has allantonin to smooth and protect the skin and i've been really liking this because i feel like it has helped my skin look super glowy my pigmentation is not as intense but i've been using vitamin c serums consistently for at least I want to say about a year now so I feel like my pigmentation overall has gotten a lot better and I find that this just gives me a really nice overall glow throughout the day and it is sort of stickier but once you layer your moisturizer and sunscreen on top you don't even feel it my only gripe with this is that they suggest you put this in the fridge because it is a vitamin c which is not the most stable ingredient it is in this like opaque bottle which helps to keep the vitamin c stable but yeah I just don't really like having to go downstairs to go get it and use it and then bring it back downstairs i'm just not the best about it maybe i should just get a beauty fridge <laughs> i don't know but the product overall 
really good. Our last brand to cover today is the Beauty of Joseon brand. And the first product that I have from them is probably a very popular one currently. This is the sunscreen. This is the Beauty of Joseon Relief Sun with rice and probiotics. Now this one also has an SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. I have been using this and it is lightweight. It quickly absorbs into the skin. It doesn't give you a ton of dew. It doesn't make you look greasy. So if you are an oily skin type, I think that this is a really nice one. It also doesn't leave a white cast. It does come out white, but it doesn't leave a white cast. If I'm comparing it to the Isntree one, I would say that this one is just slightly thicker, but it's not thick, you know? It basically smooths out right away. That's before I blend it in. I just wanted to show you guys. But once you blend it in, there's no white cast whatsoever. I love the texture of Asian sunscreens. I think that they are superior to any sort of Western sunscreens that we have here. And I have two other serums here. This is the Beauty of Joseon glow deep serum and this is the glow serum starting off with the glow serum here this one has propolis and niacinamide within it you can see here the texture of it is kind of a thicker honey like texture and it is a little bit yellow because of that propolis in there and if you're not familiar propolis is a really great anti-inflammatory ingredient and it also helps to brighten the skin tone and then of course you have your niacinamide in there which helps reduce the look of your enlarged pores and it helps to control control <laughs> control oil sebum production and this is the glow deep serum this one has rice and alpha arbutin and again rice helps with moisturizing the skin and brightening it it helps with elasticity and alpha arbutin helps even skin pigmentation and it also has grain complex for hydration and i wanted to kind of show you guys what both of these serums look like side by side. They are very, very different. One, because they're completely different ingredients, but also to the texture. Glow Deep Serum is definitely more of a thin serum, almost watery. I've been really loving using these in my AM skincare routine, and sometimes at night I'll use the Glow Serum because it does have that propolis, and I like using niacinamide at night. And I've been using it for my recovery nights because I've been skin cycling recently, so... Yeah, that is everything that I got from YesStyle. It was a ton of stuff, and honestly, I've been so excited about all the products that I've been using, as well as all the products that I'm getting ready to use. I'm just so excited. I don't want to open all of them at once and just have a bunch of skincare just sitting there because I already have a lot of skincare as it is. So I want to be mindful and use these products and really give them a chance to do their thing on my skin. But if there's anything here in particular that you guys want more information, on whether it be um, just something in the comments or if you want to see a dedicated video or if you want to see like a short form Instagram reel or TikTok talking about specific products, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to know what you guys want to see, especially when it comes to skincare, because I can talk all day about skincare, but I'm not entirely sure what content you guys really like resonate with when it comes to skincare, you know? So just let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read what your thoughts are, if you guys love some of these products, and also if you have recommendations for me let me know uh, not that I need any new skincare but maybe I'll put it like in a wish list on yes style thank you again to yes style for partnering with me on this video I'm super excited that we got to do this and thank you to you guys for making this partnership possible and allowing me to work with brands that I really really enjoy working with if you liked this video or you found it informative and helpful please make sure to like comment and subscribe for more videos like this one and I'll see you guys in my next video bye